Welcome back, everybody, to Data FGC's Max Mode. You just joined us in time to watch Street Fighter 3 Third Strike fight for the future, top eight. I'm Will, tags the tank, call me whatever. I'm here with my good friend Charlemagne. What's How's it going, going big on? dog? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. Uh, we moved over from the other stream, and now we are here for some Third Strike, and I can't tell you how pumped I am for this. Bro, Third Strike, a classic, evergreen game, especially here in Georgia. Oh, I'm here is bro. possible as an expert in third strike <laughs> subtitle fight for the future it's important that I tell you so that I seem more credible I love that you keep saying the fight for the future <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie to you I forget that's part of the, the actual title yeah man you have third strike the new generation second impact or, or sorry um yeah Street, Street Fighter, Fighter 3 the second new generation impact, yep. second impact giant attack Third Strike, Fight for the Future. Wait, Second Impact is subtitled Giant Attack? Yeah, because Hugo's new. Oh my god, okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it's actually time to play Street Fighter 3. But is it? Because we just got shot again. Uh, but it looks like they're actually playing now? Okay, we'll actually Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, bet, bet, bet. Yeah, All you right. see the Sean overhead block, but no burst, or no right. uh, super Sean can't parry. Nice the Hyper kick. Tornado, one of the easiest moves to parry in the game on reaction if you're not doing anything. Gets oh, punished. Nice Yo, the light okay. roll? Yeah. He's Ooh, sick with it, bro. Big whiff, because uh, Sean is a very functional character, and his DP connects Auto after all burst. normals. Look at that damage. Now, I do I do, uh, I do, do think it's good that Sean can store, like, three stocks on the Hot Overs. That's probably the best part about it. Yeah. Tornado, no absolute guard, tried to red parry, maybe feeling himself. Or just thought it was light, uh, light uh, tornado. Very strange. Nice There's kick a throw. throw. 
I mean, like, <laughs> despite everything, like, Sean is still a Shoto in this Ooh, game. Yo, the Hyper punish. Tornado punish. Look at all that damage, bro. Ooh. Back throw into the corner. Okay. Forward throw again. Hit him with some throw loose. Nice parry in the crouch. Good. Game, auto burst. The parry into the trip guard low forward. Oh, that wasn't punished? I don't even know that's punishable. Uh, I think you have to parry it, but also, like, Sean. <laughs> that is also true. Okay, smash to get out there. Ooh, the low birds. forward in the parry, or the, the yeah, from the chip guard, the chip out. Okay, that was real. I feel really bad that we just spent two matches talking like that. I, bruh, I, but here's the thing, like, I on, on the, on the real, Jake, so like, I despite all the things that I said before, like, Sean is not a good character. No, to play not. a Sean Mirror, it was comical. Are they homies? Don't know. There's Maybe. probably some lore that we're missing. Because if that was the actual set, then... Do you know who Troy Boy plays if he doesn't play Sean? I know Chris plays uh, Yang. So that's what I was yeah. expecting this entire time. That, that same here. Okay. Yeah. I... Anyway, Sean, as you just saw... He's a character. He, if he nothing else, in the game. he has the Shota things going for him, right? Like, uh, I recall... God, what's that guy's name? He has the the videos on all the like weird oddities and like undertune and overtune characters. Jam Crofts. Uh, Jam Crofts does have some videos, but I don't think that's what I thought you were talking about. Ah, but well, he's talking about like Sean has all the worst features of Ken and Ryu combined. He has like Ryu slower low forward with the worst cancel window, and like his normals don't combo into most of his specials. Yeah. You know, just, just a great character. Sad character. Just absolute great character. But right now we're coming up on uh, Dirty Llama versus uh, one more time. Dirty Llama versus Doc Mac. Doc Mac. We have Dirty Llama on the now. Dudley. Kind Hello, of the rushdown Dudley. guy. If you know him from our other Street Fighter games in Georgia, he's a Ken player there for the most part. But in this game, he's got, he's got some class about him. Uh, you see the SA2 Makoto, like, if you don't know, because I know a lot of the kids are watching Third Strike these days. Up, right? any, any turn around can just be a kill on a character. Yo, Ooh. wake up, forward dash? What a man. Nice start loose Quick there around there for Dirty Llama. Llama. Uh, Doc Max sitting on one bar. Not enough to, like, take around instantly, but could put a big hurt on if he gets a hit. Ooh. I like the back dash into the dash grab. Oh, misses like the command grab. Doesn't really get punished percent. for it. Ooh. Oh, the overhead? Yeah, nice media overhead. Cancel into the grab. I actually like the fake there. Ooh, fake I love it. Ah, ah. In the corner, so we obviously don't get the stun combo. Ooh, can he parry? No, nope. okay. He just blocks it. Good punish. Yeah, Dirty Llama's pretty low, uh, uh, pretty behind there, so didn't really need to yeah, the medium take, take the chance to parry. I actually like that. Like, Doc Mac really changing the pace that round, playing more of a contain style than yeah, like a rushdown style. He got him in that corner and just sort of kept him there. Ooh. Yo, the anti air, the Fukiyaki. Oh, nice dash under there. What a dash. Oh. That's the weakness of Dudley. I keep talking with Dudley players. And it's like, just dash under me, bro. Yeah, his, his normals, normals leave a lot to be desired when you try to control space there. And Makoto has such fast movement. Dudley just sort of can't get a beat on her. A good the, block there. The burst movement, too. Like, Dudley doesn't want to swing at full screen, but Makoto's going to dash up and do stuff like that. Yeah, bro, dash punch for, for whip punish. Yeah, yeah. I no punish. Dirty Llama trying to feel things out. Oh, he could comboed off of that. Oh, okay. Nice anti air there. Nice medium. Oh, there's the dash from a range where Dudley wouldn't normally. Oh, oh, that jump almost had some dirty damage behind it. The dash under again, bro. Oh, the torn heavy, the forward heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That move is so bad in this game, but it's fun. I, I love that move. Oh yeah, Makoto's a really cool character, dude. Yeah, I agree. Well, you know, ignore the uh, the Tommy no good like one touch combo. Uh, I used to play her and Q in this game and Asuma. Man, that sure is a variety. Now, <laughs> the dash under again. Yo, Doc Mac is on point, bro. Yeah, he knows exactly what he needs to sort of keep uh, Dudley off kilter and sort of neutralize him in this match. And that's the play to his Yo, game. the, the oh, reset? my goodness, that axe kick. Did so much damage. Oh, he's trying uh, to get the... He didn't cross over by the time he input it, so he got the same side. Dash forward instead of back. Into the heat of battle. I like what the stock Mac guy is up to, bro. Yeah, it was such a fast match. 
Dirty Llama trying to trying to get in to get some damage. Oh, there Big we go. Big punish. Machine gun blow. Dog Mac tried to get a little cute there. He's gonna eat like 45% for it. Ooh. Now it's Dudley's game. The corner. Oh, Red, Red Fairy. Fairy into the command grab. And we're in the corner. So do we get the stun ah. combo? Ah. Well, no, it's Dudley. We don't get the stun combo on Dudley. Oh, Dudley have a lot of stun life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, a lot of uh, empty jumping right there into the grab. The dash is forward. behind him. Oh, Karkusa. All right, we're not going to get the kill no, here. Chooses not to do the light. And the there stun. we go. Makoto's neutral throw with the uh, the bonus Ooh, stun. Yeah. Leave him standing, too, for the mix-up. It's, it's just like, I don't want to say it. it. It's a jump scare kind of situation. Yeah, I, you don't expect to not be knocked down after yeah. getting hit by a throw. Uh, being reset in the standing is a lot scarier than I used to think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Every time someone used to say, oh, yeah, he resets you in the standing. Like, well, I mean, you run so we're back in neutral? Protection. But, but you're really not. Yeah. yeah. Makoto's a scary character, man. Uh, I, I, did I expect Doc Mac to run over a Dudley not player like no. that? Maybe not. Uh, but like I said before, I think Doc Mac was using the forward dash really well. That's something, like in Street Fighter VI, when I played Jury, had that really long forward dash. Mm -hmm. Jump scaring characters from outside of their usual footsie range, such a strong tool. And Absolutely. Doc Mac did a really good job of that. He played to his strengths and stayed there. Yeah. He didn't really want to let Dudley get his game off because he didn't want to take the take any sort of risk there. It was very smart, very smart. And of course, we, we pointed out the dash unders in the beginning. All the Dudley players complained, like, bro, I don't have a cross up. Well, you're hard to anti-air, but, but you don't have a cross-up. Just yeah. take the space, take the dash under. Good work from Doc Mack. Excited to see him again in the winner's final. Uh, of course, he's going to fight against Chris G. Took the Sean set, right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we have uh, iMash buttons versus, versus on Alex. Some, oh, some options. Some okay. Mass. Alex versus Jurian. Oh, no, this is a match I don't see very often. Oh, tried to jump out the heavy here. All right, good parry into the grab. Some Optimus already bringing out some kind of strange stuff, like the roundhouse up close, the jab reset. Was that a, was that Yo, a taunt? parry cancel, or a taunt cancel, yeah. What a trade. A nice EX stomp to uh, grab him out of the air, parry. Okay, whoa. Yo, he's oh, out. Pretty dangerous otherwise. Throw not punish, but then land. Yeah, empty jump throw. Oh, no. Uh -oh. They're still playing, though. We'll give you guys a play. All right, well, it's back. Okay, no sound. Yo, shout outs to Caps. That, that's just kind of the life of it, he says. Yeah. Big damage. Right, has to wake up into the, Oh, doesn't get the block. Oh, monstrous damage there, too. Okay. Yo, the wake up strong. Oh, good parry. Big punish, no! He gets dash. Footsies. Okay. Oh, doesn't get an uh, extension from that. Nice command, command grab. throw. OP is an overhead. Ah, uh, but jumps Big into damage. the head, but there. Oh, no super cancel. He wanted to save the bar for the fourth round, I guess. Doesn't get the parry. Yeah, unblockable there regardless. Yeah, that was that was pretty dangerous. For those of you who are new to us, like I said, a lot of people showing interest in older games over the course of the pandemic. Uh, Urian has these unblockable things. And despite there being parry in the game, it's still a very difficult situation to get out of. Uh, a, a lot of people recommend because you can like down parry regardless of direction, the, uh, the mirror. But then you have to worry about the normal afterwards. He's gonna throw you if you parry. Uh, very difficult situation to get out of. Uh, uh, charger. No punish. All right, uh, wakes up with the stomp. Oh, Ooh. the DDT, but gets crouched. Still ends up in a good situation. Uh, stomp. EX stomp there. Okay. Overhead. Oh. Ah, uh, goes to the back here. Oh, does uh. it block? Nice parry. Oh. That's so dangerous to fight with that at your back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even if you're, like, not already blocking it. Oh, nice. Nice. The hyper bomb. The hyper bomb is very important for the mental damage part of closing around. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, chariot tackle on that whiff normal there. The stand fierce gets parried that time. Our mash buttons may be going through a little bit too much. Oh. I want him to stop pressing buttons there. But you know, to uh, be fair, like, yeah. if you're probably going to get hit anyway, uh, like, I guess. Try, I guess, yeah, try yeah, and sure. mash out of the situation. All right, nice grab punish there. Forward heavy. Ooh, and another stun. stun. Hyper bomb. Oh, oh the DDT, DDT to finish yeah. it. <laughs> He's so nice, bro. <laughs> I like that leaping DDT. 
Wait, man, I fell in love with the I animation wish. of this game so much. Oh man, this game is beautiful. Welcome yeah. Also makes me, you know, think about how pretty this game. Hype for the new uh, City of the Wolves. Yeah, I saw fair. that. I saw that trailer. It looks uh, dope. But going into game three here, no character changes, no nothing. Just took a little bit of time and character select. I like how both of them were sort of waiting for a parry there in the air. Nice parry Good. into Hyper Bomb. Punish, man. Unfortunately, it goes to the light well, Hyper Bomb. Again, a parry no. doesn't get to grab one of the land. Uh, sweet. Oh, that was a good jump there from some opponent. Punish for just a back throw. But we have the corner position now. He's really going to that overhead a lot. The Aegis Reflector. Oh, no. Another Aegis Reflector Aegis set up. Unblock. Yep. Oh, it gets overheaded. Chance, though. Ah, uh, okay. wake up headbutt. Not a very good move in a reversal situation, but he's throwing Volt. Good parry there. Try to go for the hyper bomb upon landing. Uh, I like the dash up grab. Throw him into the corner, trying to control that space. Dad, jumping back. Uh, not sure how wise it is to give Alex too much more room to work with there. Well, he was jumping back to mid screen, so I can't reckon it was too bad. Some Optimus also, like, playing with low bar. Even as you're in, pretty uncomfortable. Uh, I swear, uh, I matched yeah, buttons yeah. just did not block there. No, that was the unblockable. Oh, okay. okay. Or, or rather, you have to, when he got pushed back into the reflector, he had to block the other direction. Oh. Yeah. I see. Nice parry. Oh, with punish. Dear. Not a back throw, so we have a chance. Overhead. Again, good parry Punit there. Good block. Good block. Nice no! parry there. Gets grabbed upon landing. Gets chip guarded on his own takes it. punish situation. Wait. Unfortunate. That's the end of the line for I mash buttons, though. Oh, that was losers? Yeah, that was losers. Oh. Let me I see. did some good work, though. It's uh, It's been a little bit since I checked in on the brackets. We had 19 people show up for third strike. OK. Which, that's like, a great that, number. It's 2024, yeah. man. That's pretty good for third strike. 2024, first time for the major. Yeah. I think that's a good turnout. For sure. Uh, also, I mean, had a lot of locals who came out that didn't play in the tournament. Yeah. And that was really good to see. A bunch of old men. <laughs> so I only get to say that because I'm a kid. I just turned 25. You know, all these games were well before my you time. You just turned 25? Yeah, I know. Man, we're letting you drink, bro? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right. We got a Necro versus another Alex. What is this? I am surprised. Uh, you know, Necro. Oh, good parry on the light. and doesn't get a punish, though. Necro, maybe not the best character in the game, but has some really cool spacing tools, some really sick links and combos. I would dare say Necro's actually better than Alex. Oh, I would 100% say that's yeah. the case, yeah. Alex is suffering. Oh, I, I love Four, these. Four, five, I love six, these. I love it. I six, love it. Six, yep. Oh, and a hyper bomb for the punish. All right. So, like, despite the round result, like, this guy plays Necro. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he did some things. I think most characters you get, like, four or five. A couple you get six. I think Chun gets, like, seven. Of, of course you would get seven on Sean. No, no, Chun, not Sean. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Chun, new to third strike, has some really weird boxes. Interesting neutral here, though. Uh, Billy Boy got, you know... Is on the Super 3. I would expect to see like a couple more whiffs try and play for that bar. Good oh, red good parry. parry. I love it. Try to push him back across screen there. Nice buttons. It gets the grab. There's the back throw. Still fighting an uphill battle. Oh, and the drill kick. There's a grab there. Nice uh, sweep. That's a sweep. Such a good mix up. You know, mm, at, at a glance, that sweep seems like awful Oki. <laughs> but Alex also has like a 12 frame overhead. So, you know, yeah, yeah. low is totally valid. Like minus 15 low, I'd still do it sometimes. Uh, kind of sad there. Didn't get to see any real bar usage from either. No. Alex doesn't have like spectacular EX moves, but sometimes you'll get like the medium punch to the EX flash shot. Uh, Necro, like comboing into Electric Snake yeah. is incredible. Yeah, and he has quite, uh, quite a few like decent loops from his uh, his little spinning wheel. Yeah, yeah. Move. yeah. A good button from uh, Cryo Wall there. Ooh, there we go. Harry. There's the electric snake. Here we go. Pretty big damage. Pushing him back into the corner there. Throws him out of the corner? 
Uh, the back throw for the uh, the block OS or something. Oh, and the stun. There's the punish and the stun. Yep. I love the way Necro's body moves during some of his Bro, animations. This game it's is so beautiful. Wild. Yeah. Oh, good jump over there. Jump the nice parry. Nice. The parry and the strong flash chop. Uh. Parry's here are really good. Once you're not really able to capitalize too much off of him. Oh, good blocks. Nice parry. Nice damage there. Yo. Oh. Yes. A good parry on the universal overhead. Oh, that was. Oh, no. That's the round. Yeah. All right. So, like, that's the layer, like, four is getting parried and doing the super anyway, right? Because <laughs> because they parry, like, they're going to hit a button to punish you. What if I super them? That's fair. That's fair. Sort of like the, the mix-up within the mix-up. Shout-outs to Vimsier. We have that interaction so often. Yeah. We're walking around, mashing low parry against each other, <laughs> and we're going to super anyway. But yeah, 1-1. One, one. Uh, got to see a little bit more play from both of them. Not just like a, a throw and basic frame trap. Because... Oh. Some buttons being thrown out oh, there. I don't think he actually corner, wanted a full jump but in the corner there. We got the side swap. Oh, let's oh, just get wrong. Blocked. Oh, nice carry. Oh. Back fierce. If y'all didn't know, uh, strike throws are uh, unparryable in this game. There's a lot of credence to, uh, to Alex's back fierce. Some weirdo whiffing in front of each other's faces. <laughs> and an electric snake oh, over there. Man. Footsies? Nah. I'll spin into electric snake. A uh, dash up grab. Uh, Billy Boy didn't really react there. No normals. Oh. Good juggle. Oh, that trade. Yeah, GameStop. Yeah. Oh, a drill into another grab. This drill is killing Dilly Boy. Wow. Oh, Billy Boy. It got the grab off of the Alex Perry. The lace. Oh, electric snake. So, yeah, so much damage. Wait. I think this guy knows how to play Necro. Just maybe. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Uh, so that's both Alex is gone. Oh, that is, uh, Rest in peace, uh, low tier heroes. I mean, it's, it's not like Necro is all that good. Also, for some reason, we saw a Sean mirror. Yeah, but we still have a Sean somewhere. Yeah, right? yeah. But Sean, he uh, he just went to losers, right? One of them did. Yeah. yeah. Chris G never played Yang in his life. Sean all the way. So we had two Shans in top eight. We had <laughs> two Alexes, a Necro. Uh, I'm missing a character, a Urian. Yep. Uh, who else are we missing? Who else have we, haven't we we seen so far? Uh, we have the Dudley still. And oh, the Dudley still still in the game? Makoto yeah. and Dudley, right? Makoto, Dudley. Yeah, yeah. So, Sean, Sean. Makoto, Dudley. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're about to have the Dudley versus uh, this is the Urian. Yes. Yeah. Uh, kind of a weird one. Optimus. You know, like, Urian players now. complain about getting Bulldog when they don't have Bar. But uh, Dirty Llama... He, he will play lame until he suddenly decides not to. We'll see how this really goes down here. Oh, nice combo there. Oh, good parry. Does, oh, he's Let's done go. the punish. Yeah, yeah. Who needs to parry second time? I was about to speak a little too early. Oh, good jump over that normal. Jump, but no real punish. We were talking about footsies. That that standing heavy from Dudley is like one of the best. Oh, oh cross counter. <laughs> Yo. Uh, parrying Dudley's rows definitely a bait. All right, good blocks there. Ooh! Wow. If only he had gotten a couple more hits. Oh, wow. Wow, just. This round has turned oh. out surprisingly close. So. The trip guard crouch fierce. I can't believe that hit like that. Yeah, good buttons from some optimists. Prepare to strike now. I love how they're filling each other out there with these normals. Ooh. Oh, no, the machine gun blow with. Pushing them into the corners. I the back walk, I'm not sure. If you watch Dirty Llama's last game, I definitely respect that uh, some Optimus is a little bit scared. Yeah. Dirty Llama will just turn on the wild switch every once in a while. There we go. Commit to the super anyway. Does the EX version? 
Yes. Oh, so Optimus has some good damage there. Finds a weirdo unblockable over the yeah. course of that super. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I'm trying to push his way in there. Oh, yes. Doesn't get the combo. Oh, it's very yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah. Such a bad situation for Dudley. So, uh, if anybody watching is wondering, like, Dudley changes his jump part based on what normal he presses. That fierce makes him land later. So that throw that you would have expected a trip guard, just just with no, too early. Again, I, I'm like only trying to be descriptive because I know that a lot of people have gotten into these older games over the course of COVID. I'm glad that we're here to do this, you know, play just outside of our locals as well. Good, Harry. Unfortunately, gets the fierce. Oh, nice overhead. Oh no! Let's get the button off that parry. He wanted it though. Oh, nice, nice grab. This is the kind of bulldogging style that the Urian players are not equipped to deal with. Nice crouching jabs and a corkscrew. Love it. Oh, I thought we were about to see a, like a parry uh, uh, launch from. Uh, we're back in the there. contain cell. Some optimist choosing not to spin the bar there. You have to reset. The reset. Got to parry it, or else you toast. Gotta trash. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Oh, nice parry on that full hop there. Two. Oh, no tech roll. Nice grab. We're working on a stun here. Uh, giving a little bit of space. Yeah. Oh, nice headbutt follow. Oh, oh actually crap. hit the roll that time, yeah. <laughs> I like how the rose went straight over the Aiken for Flickner. Oh, good parry. Parry, but still we're about still going to do the mix up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These whip Actually, buttons still are, are, still are doing some, uh, some decent stuff because they're building meter from them. Yeah, Urian's fireball. Uh, like seems tempting to parry it and jump on him, but doesn't actually have all that much recovery. You might still get anti air even if you do. Right, but yep. oh, he tried to parry. It's too hard, man. You got to hit like two down parries, a forward parry, and then another down parry. Wow, oh, whiffing through man. each other. Really I'm dangerous for Yari in here. We're like actually in the middle of a special and a super just to chip out. Oh, what an anti! Lama was trying to cage him in a corner, see if he can get a get like just a chip into some damage there. Just a block into some damage. I did want to bring up some Optimus's uh, quick charging to do EX headbutt into another headbutt. Really fast fingers. Gets over, no punish though. Yeah, charge partitioning was real in this game. I think it was like one of the first games I saw it uh, come about mainstream. Good damage no from confirm, there. But oh, did he try the red parry? parry? Yeah, I don't think that Urian has a normal that can punish if he doesn't hit the red parry. Oh, nice combo into the cherry attack. Ooh, jumped in with that medium. I'm not in a position to uh, do anything too crazy, but back to this contain style. Oh, no. That was, that was crazy. So many whiff things right there. <laughs> A good carry. Some oh, operates with the uh, Supreme Confidence trying to take this game. There it is. Some Optimus takes out Dirty oh, Llama. Oh, man. Into the road for Georgia in this event. But that was a really good Yuri in play. Yeah. Excited to see what, how far, how much farther he makes it. Oh, yeah. What do we have coming up next? I assume. Yeah, we have um, Troy Boy versus. Um, Billy Boy God, right? Mm. Billy Boy God, right? Billy Boy God, okay. Yeah. Uh, Troy Boy was the Sean that may still be playing Sean versus. Uh, wait, I thought Billy Boy God was wait. the uh, was the Alex. But it's I going the Alex so won. fast. Okay, yeah. Then then against Crywall. Okay, it's yeah, going yeah. So, so fast. Necro. It's going so fast. Or Necro, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah, these matches are actually going really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Surprising for how like uh, turtly I feel like Third Strike has become. A lot of people having to get like real honest hits these days, but we're swinging for the fences out here. I don't know. I don't know, man. None of this look turtly. No, uh, not all today. Just furious action. Yeah, not today at all. <laughs> this is a so nice day for like. Oh, okay. Sure. Troy Boy revealing his actual power level. 
Also, we do have a chun in top eight. All right, so yeah, here here comes the turtle. Oh, good parry. Doesn't get a chun. Oh, okay. Chun somehow getting bullied to the corner, but back throw out, and now we're in the driver's seat. I'm actually surprised by how little damage that uh, that parry combo did from uh, Necro. Charlie throwing Necro back into the corner. Another throw. Wow, it's thrown through the jab. Ooh. Doesn't get a crouch on these buttons. Walks out, but Chun super jumps. Just going away again. Ne Necro's normal. Oh my god. So crazy. Yo, Choi Boy block. is insane. He did Hazanshu in third strike. That's crazy. Oh, good parry on the electricity there. Oh, and that nice. looks like a super okay. punish. Two. Uh, one mix. Uh, uh. Yeah, one mix. Good parry. That's the round. Is that game? Oh, no. Oh. I think he gets a combo in the corner. Yeah, he does. Absolutely a combo in the corner. Go. But he almost excited. he almost actually took that round. That that, that would have been a great comeback. Well, I have to be careful about running into that back fierce. Yeah, in the context of third strike where zoning as like a main strategy is pretty awful, Chun Chun is the longer range character and that's just super pokey. Ooh, nice button nice. to the electric snake there. Gotta push up on him. Forces him to block that dive kick and a couple good buttons there. I really like this pressure. Also, using a lot of Necro stand strong. One of his best buttons. And Troy Boy is uh, just steadily pushing Cryo oh, Wall. Oh, oh, no punish. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's super. There's a link. That was a great link there. Potentially one touch. Yes. Oh, that looked, that looked uh, kind of ambiguous there for the yeah, cross-up. Uh, yeah, the empty low. I wanted to see the girl come up and sing with him. <laughs> What's her name? I think it's like Effie or something. No idea. I think they are French though, aren't they? No. The third strike lore is incredible. Uh, Illuminati. <laughs> Clones or something. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Also, Chun saves a girl, and that's the girl in the uh, Street Fighter 6 story mode. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Damn. Nice throw there. Push corner pressure. The corner. Oh, I love the, the button. House. Comes back in with a dive kick. Doesn't want to leave him un uh, unchecked. Safe That's wheel. Super. Into the round. Let's Four go. Oh, sorry. Uh, Cryo Wall takes the first round. It's Chun Lee characters and all she was cracked Wait. up to be. No, not at uh, all. She's not even good. Like, obviously, Necro's Actually, superior. like, the, the changing opinions over the last couple of years have been really interesting. Uh, a lot of guys just, like, sat in the lab. Crazy, I know. The mentality about how to play, like, Yun has changed. Akuma's risen quite a bit. Yun is kind of challenging Chun for that top one spot, from what I understand. But I think Yun was already considered one of the better characters, wasn't Absolutely. he? Absolutely. Yeah. He was one of the best. But these days, the uh, the guys, they're doing resets instead. So their uptime on Ganajin is, is like, 80%. Uh -huh. They do one more mix-up, and they have it again. Oh, OK. It's crazy. But yeah, back back to this stuff. Uh, Necro beating Chun-Li, not something I would have expected. But this Cryo Wall guy is kind of nice. Yeah, Cryo Wall is putting in a lot of work here. He's pushed Troy Boy to the corner, and now he's just waiting for him to make a mistake. Uh, uh, swing electricity into it, no. just a little long. Oh. Right, nice dive kick, unfortunately, gets back. Uh, oh, oh no. No more bar on Chun's side, so we're going to need two more hits. No block there from Firewall. Not pressing anything. But just, oh, gets grabbed. That's Strange. Oh, oh, that was a missed grab. Good punish. He's strong again, just trying to space her out. We're going to get in danger time here if we do let her get to the bar. Uh, I mean, I don't anticipate us having a Jay Wong Daigo moment, but <laughs> you never know. Who knows what these people have been laughing out. Shout outs to those guys. Oh, these dive kicks are putting in work here. We are getting, oh. yeah, wow. And I think, uh, I think Troy Boy was possibly buffering oh, super there, so. but maybe wow. just never yeah, saw just a good for the point though. Punish. Yeah. It's like four frames across the screen, crazy. But uh, Troy Boy gotta feel, be feeling bad after that one. Oh, there we go. Take the 40. Taking about 30 life, all right. 50% uh, life here. Kokoken on block. 
I think Electric Snake might punish that, but it, it oh, is a lot of mental two whip grabs at the same time. That was wild. Doesn't get that uh, that kick there. Good block. Oh, gets the dive kick. Misses another grab, but just goes so for it again. Alright, Chumley throwing them out. out of the corner. Playing a little patient here. Both trying to like, land a solid hit. Soy Boy also, just remember, in danger, sitting here in uh, down a last game, or, or down one Oh, and that's super. The All round. right. Has one bar left to get ready for the next round. Uh, tough here for Cryowall, just never really found an opportunity to spend that bar. A lot of lost potential. There we go. There we go. Uh, there, there you go. That's, that's what you wanted? That's what you're looking for? Oh, EX, wake up spinning bird kick. Uh-oh. Be careful. He's taking a bit of... Taking quite a few hits there. Okay, another all normal right, into the electric right. snake. Ambiguous cross up there. Good blocks. It's actually really dangerous, man. You go minus four, worse against Chun. She'll hit you from just about anywhere. Uh, Trollbone has potential last Ooh. legs here. We're gonna need one more mix up. Mash the roundhouse. Yep. <laughs> that kick so good, so fast. Super tall. Super jump cancelable, like I don't really care if you parry it that much. Oh, is it? I wonder, is it super jump cancelable on parry as well? Uh, I assume that like on parry is the same as on hit. Oh, okay. Good question. It does stick you in like extra hit stock. So I might not actually get out. Troy Boy is the most successful third strike Hazanchu user I've yeah. ever seen. <laughs> That's crazy. That. that move is garbage. I have never seen so many Hazanchu. Oh, wow. Okay. Dive kick like reset a couple times. I actually like oh, this. Oh, good <laughs> carry. I love that uh, jump into another dive kick to sort of mix up Troy Boy. I'm trying to push him back to the corner. Good right. back grab. Uh, SBK yeah, again. Kick. What? what? What is the ton about? No. Had to I be don't know. I, I don't know how, but miss input. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, danger for Cryo Wall, obviously. You're not allowed to whiff anymore. You're not allowed to do anything minus three or worse. Oh, he gets the round. Good button into Electric Snake. Necro stands strong. Maybe his single best feature. Now. And uh, Cryowall is showing that he really knows how to use it. Immediate uh, low grab there. He gets a meaty overhead in the link. 50%. Oh, Danger here, too. Necro stun combos oh, go insane. Into the back. Chun out of danger for now. Same side. Necro? in the corner for like one of the first times here. There it is. That's the game. I thought that was a block. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. You win. Good job there from Cryowall. Uh, certainly surprised me, man. Yeah, Troy Boy is now out of the tournament. Uh, so that leaves us with Chris G sitting pretty in winner. Is that winner's finals? Yeah. Chris uh, G's in or is he in grand finals? Chris G finals? and Knock Mac in winner's finals still. Huh? Chris G and Doc Mac in okay. the last final still. All right, bet. Which, uh, is Chris G going to play Yang today? I would expect. We just talked with him a little bit beforehand. Is he going to play Chun? Well, maybe if he feels pressured enough. I didn't know Chris G had Or a Chun. Yang, sorry. But yeah, he said he was uh, playing Chun back in the day. Okay. And then got bored of the character. Not unreasonable. Uh, yeah, as you do. Not unreasonable. Oh, looks um, like we're about to have him up right now. Okay. I'm excited to see how this Makoto handles the Sean. I mean, Yang. Or I'm not Shinsen enough to go up and say something about that. <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to Chris. Okay. I, I know you still going in Ken this time. Uh, okay. And the best color too. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, the uh, the jab forward fierce. Yeah, I think that's color 13 or 12. I think they're like seven or something. I don't know. Yeah, Ken really well equipped to deal with it, but Doc Mac, you know, despite what the life bars say, oh, actually has pretty good momentum here. Gives away the corner. Chris just trying to build some meter there. Ooh, good nice forward, uh, nice down forward. Ooh, good block on that overhead. 
the inside say not turning in anything. You're seeing Christy oh, uh, whiffing those strongs, just the building meter. leaving Open the economy meter. here. Oh, oh doesn't committed get to holding up. Yeah, doesn't get the uh, Karakusa. Oh. Doc Mac is crazy, man. Good block after that dash. Oh, gets the command grab. Too far. Oh, no, it's not. It actually hits. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting all of that. Nice punish there with the light. Walks out of the throw range for the for the short. Are you ready? I am pleasantly surprised with how this is going. <laughs> Chris G, whether he's just building Mar or is anticipating the dash in, been hitting a lot of really early buttons. Actually built the bar there for the EX, but we're too far out of the corner. Not worth it. Another Hayate. Stun. Great damage here. Stun. Nice stun. No, oh, drops the combo, the combo. But he's better. Uh, dash oh, no. into a grab there. Potentially very scary. Chris G, uh, while Just having close. a little life is uh, well, okay, he backed off there. Oh, and another uh, dash in the throw, grab. not enough to the, the, the slow the overhead. I saw that micro you walk forward. I saw the parry, Chris. <laughs> yeah, he, he tried. He's a little too fast, apparently. Doc Mag no, taking the first game. You know, Chris G. Again, I say this. It's not derogatory. I promise. Old guy has a lot of characters he can play. Goes back to the Kim though. Into the yellow beam this time. Color matchups here. Oh, good axe kick over that fireball. Oh, good parry into the jab reset for the Karakusa. Max Hayate, Hayate. What's the Oki? Just the delay short. A good block there on that dash target combo. The jump fierce, Ooh. the Karakusa, fierce kill. Oh no, goes for the short target combo. I like how we jump forward, hit that fierce, right. and just let the now. reset happen naturally. Yeah. Into, into the command there, grab there. Jumps over him, but gets grabbed, back into the corner. Uh, Kim trying to space him out. Oh, good parry, parry. Good parry. I love seeing stuff like that. I'm surprised there was no combo off that crouch short short. Oh, there's the confirm that time. We just need two. I like no Chris punish. G put us in space there so he can react and block that uh, dash punch. Ooh, Ooh. good parry. The Fierce. The Yate cancels are actually pretty dope here from Doc Matt. Yeah, I've been enjoying his feints a lot. His timing is super weird. In a good oh. way, of course. Another Chris G. Sport in the EX Fireball. Yeah. You know, classically, people think about Shoto's fireballs in this game as being pretty underwhelming, but the EX fireballs really have a time and a place, and they're quite strong when they're used properly. Okay. Good punch there from Chris. Goes for the meter build. Oki is for suckers. Oh, what a parry, parry, bro! But he hits the the, the medium shore you can. Not going to connect. Oh, just out of oh, range for the target, target combo. combo Could have ended the game there. Oh, oh my goodness. A couple frames faster. There it is, the punish. No super, though. Makoto is still in it. Oh, good block there. Those are winners' finals, oh. three out of five. Okay, okay, one Axe one. kicks into the crouch, uh, crouch forward. Win. We await your return. Shout out to my Georgia guys. I almost just said this Makoto champion. Now <laughs> we're going back into the matchup. Yeah, Ken again. I like, I like With a different color power up. Every, uh, yeah. every match. I think it's like the fierce color or something. Somebody in it is going to tell me I'm a scrub for not knowing. It's okay. I'll tell you the only uh, color I really knew existed was normal, white, and uh, color 13. The violent Ken, Ooh. yeah. Good parry there from Chris G. Gets himself out of that corner. Trying to what around some space. Build some meter. I love how Doc Mac uses his dash forward and back just to. Uh, no EX Hayate that time. Try to hold on to the bar to close out the round. No punish from the whiff command grab there. Wake up, throw. Wake up throw! Kara. 
Oh, oh went to that's what I'm talking about. He got layers. Just, he just finished the super anyway. Good oh, no. there for He's so close to winning this round. The jump Good back jump toward. Back medium. Let's jump back forward. Are you ready? Why did Go. they call those buttons these weird names? Yeah, I forget what the what the actual like call sign yeah, is. Jab so strong roundhouse, short forward, or uh, jab strong fierce, short forward roundhouse. Anyway, good super here from Nikki G. Actually, he backs up. You know, I understand not going to get back thrown on Smash. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't get the, all the hits with the EX uppercut. Alright, we're well, not going to get a. not going to stun just yet, but he's so close. Doc Mac oh, is trying a fireball. really hard to read this jump out. Both uh, both of those breaks were so good for Chris, and he runs him into a crouching uh, strong. No extra bar, so we're not going to set up any weird ship situations. Oh, doesn't even carry uh, there. Getting hit by oh, the fireball, but no trip guard. Stand forward. Jumps and gets heavy kicks. Yeah, forward. Uh, uh, oh, winner's finals, right? Yeah, winner's finals. So we're going three out of five. Uh, Chris G up to one. Yeah, that um, stand medium kick from Ken covers a really peculiar space. Yeah. Not a lot of characters who are trying to do like weird offense or like really far jumps will just get hit by it. I like what Chris is showing. Uh, I also like what Doc Mac was showing in the first game. I, I hope that he gets to harness some more of that this time around so we can have a longer set. Ooh, nice trip there off that carry. Chris, she's somehow just staying out of those command grabs. Oh no, oh, nice dash under. Yeah, I like the dash under, except for when it puts you in the corner. Yeah. Chris G's like counting on some of that aggression there. Ooh, nice grab. Danger. And a jump back for Chris. There's some more space in between them, just gonna build some meter. Alright, all those crouching lights. We're just playing the slow game in. There's the preemptive forward. Oh, jump back target combo on the super there. It's not death, but so. Uh, Is that a combo? And maybe we got the kill there. I don't think he wanted the sword of roundhouse. Parry into, Parry into the overhead. overhead. Yeah. yeah. If I can't punish like you, if I can't punish you, I'll mix you up. All right. I like Doc. Right, Doc Take it a little bit slower. Good normal Nice, Ooh. the Karakarakusa. Obviously too far away from the back of the screen. Is this stun? Oh, no, he missed the fierce. The normal, yeah. Oh, good. Nice, oh, Karakusa again. Spin it. Oh, no, he needs the stun. Now listen to okay. me. That's, That's why I'm on commentary too. and you're up there in top eight. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Final round. Doc Mac. Go. Fighting for his life, but does it with a perfect. Uh, he's he's got the momentum going into here. Oh, juggle! He is sharking Chris G now. Oh wow! I think he smells some blood in the water there. Oh, nice axe kick to delay his land. Gets a grab in the corner. The this is stun. That's the round. All right, all right. Doc Mac brings it back to two two. Staying in there. The winners finals here. Look, man. You just shouldn't have gotten Karakusa. Yeah, you yeah. would have lost the round. It's your fault. It's such an easy thing to not let happen. Yeah. But I, I did like, um, over the course of that game, I think that Doc was seeing uh, Chris's willingness to just hold up. Because Karakusa can be the end of the game. Uh, made the adjustment, and then eventually when he kept him on the ground, got the Karakusa, finished it up. Oh, tries to backdash there. Go with punish. Has the EX, so he's gonna get some good damage there. Jumps Ooh, into the corner again. I understand though, like Chris is so scared to uh, approach Makoto when her back is to the wall. Just because the high reward is there. Not enough bar for the uh, the combo. I like how the axe kicks are really delaying uh, Doc Max land just a little bit. So he's not sort of uh, thrown into that jump board. Dash oh, forward block. Good block. Karakusa Car punish. That is nice. This. All of a sudden, match point for Doc Mac. Ready? Yeah. Go. Doc Mac could be throwing uh, Chris into that losers. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Right, building some meter here. 
but Chris already has more, so he's just building extra. I'm not sure how good see. it's going to be for Doc Mack if he can just retain some of that. All right, playing super defensively right now. Nice juggle. Oh, short, short, super. To me, that's the third strike, but. Quintessentially, yes, actually. Nice. I love the dash up mix up after the after the sweep. Oh, the overheads. Love well, the mid and the overhead. Oh no, one hit? No, that's just the round. Okay. She's she's got guts, but she's not that much health. Yeah. I, I forget wow. sometimes. Engage. Oh, good block after that dash. All right, Karakusa. Nice. Yeah. Damage looks like here. Misses the wit the the jab bird. It's so strange. Okay. Still well ahead though. Again, Chris is going back with the holding up. I think that's why we're seeing a lot of the mids hit. Oh, that, that one looked like a low parry attempt. Back to one bar. This opens up the EX Karakusa. Back to the wall though. Good blocks there for Doc Matt. For the EX yes, highest over there. Oh, oh the short, short. short. There. Scary. Back being kept out just a little Two bit here. touch situation on Doc's side. Potential one touch on Chris G's side. Doc back no longer has super. Okay. Good action kick. Oh my god. Nice button just to knock him out there of the air. There we go. Yeah, Doc Mac with kill. the dub. Oh, and Doc Mac won. Sending Chris G into losers. Doc Mac is going to chill out in grand finals until someone can come up to him. Game four. Chris kept holding up and kept holding up and then he blocked, got hit by one Karakusa and then he was going to hold up for game five <laughs> and keep holding up and Doc Mac really took advantage. That's uh, one of the marks of, of a good grappler player. Yeah. And once your opponent starts uh, realizing they can, I guess, counter your gameplay by uh, moving in a certain way, it's up to you to punish that. Yeah. And Doc Mac took, uh, took great advantage of it. Absolutely. Now we're about to have uh, Cryo Wall versus. No, no, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, I'm drawing the blank. You got it. You got no, it. No, okay, no. You got it. Cryo Wall. Remember the character. Remember the character. It's the Uranium player. Yes. Uh, Some optimal. I got you. That was it. All right. Don't yo, worry about I it. I wasn't going to get it. I wasn't going to get it. It's been a long day. Yeah. Who could blame you? <laughs> We've already seen Marvel together today. That was a great time. That was a fun time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Then we got to see some Grand Blue during it as well. Yeah. Is this our final tournament of the day, actually? For tonight, I believe it is our uh, our close to the day. Are you ready? Go. Necro versus Yurian. What a weird one. Ooh, okay. Good two hit there. Throws him into the corner. Good blocks there from some optimal. Gets grabbed though. Some optimism. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I bet that I said it wrong. That's on me. Well, I wonder. I think I've been calling him some optimal all, all night. <laughs> oh, low short. Good link there. Oh, good block, man. Overhead. Danger. Yeah. Even yeah, though some optimist doesn't win this round, he really needs to build some bar. And Necro sort of just had him in that danger zone, and the quarter was just waiting, standing there menacingly. Ooh. Yeah, of characters that actually compete with the range of Urian when he's in the poking phase of his game, Necro is definitely one of them. But the reward on things like the uh, the stand strong, so much higher than Urian's like forward and sweep and whatnot. It's hilarious that you say that someone is competing with Urian in the poke game when really is Urian trying to compete with Necro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now. But now that Urian is stocked, we're out of the poke phase. We're into the rushdown phase. Yeah, one knockdown leads to the Aegis Reflector, which changes the entire makeup of the game here. Okay. Nice grab there. Good Coming walk back to Shimmy. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, I like the tech roll. Oh, oh actually gets the corner the for the unblockable. Oh, wrong spacing. That must be a Necro thing. That was so weird. Yeah. Last walk back from Firewall and the jump over to get him out of the corner. Oh! That's safe. Continuous presses there. Ah, uh, just not able to capitalize on anything more. Uh, 
the egg is reflector putting in a lot of work, uh, or putting in some work to keep uh, some optimal lines here. And a jump, jump heavy kick. House. Urian will Go. hit you in some unexpected ways. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. Drop the knees on that arm right there. No block that time, but I not terribly rewarding. Knocked down. That's wild. Nah, that's why Urian or uh, Necro's mid. Not great Ooh, reward on a lot crowd. of things. Safe. I love the normals. I love the normals. <laughs> Nice. It always feels like, bar. like uh, martial arts choreography when people like put out normal and they're like coming so close to hitting each other. But yeah, <laughs> well, good dash, dash under. under. Unfortunately, he puts himself closer to the corner. Yeah, that may not be the best move here, especially with some optimal so close to meter. And he has it now. It gets the flexor. There it is. The pressure. You better block. He actually finds the corner for the unblockable. You win. That was crazy. Up, down, left, right. Never try to block Yuri and kids. I remember there was like this joke article put out before about uh, how like marble players hate blocking because blocking is like the gateway to losing. Yes. That actually feels like the case in this game. <laughs> Particularly in a matchup when you're fighting Yuri. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Starting with some footsies. Uh, I guess it's true, like, Necro can just punish you for whiffing the forwards to gain more. Actually blocks the overhead somehow, turns it into a mix-up, and nice now we're in the there. corner with a 40% life lead. Walk a 60% life lead. A well, good block of those double overheads. Nice parry and a grab break. Another grab break. All right. Yeah, we're taking care of that person right now. Whoa. Ooh, that dash over, <laughs> dash over into the uh, uh, headbutt. Yeah, characters lose collision when they're doing the tech roll. So you get some weird stuff like that happens. Good spacing there from Yuri. Despite everything, some Optimus is keeping things kind of cool. If nothing else, he has to build bar nice for the parry. second round. Oh, dash forward, really not enough. To, really wanted to punish there. Cry like wall. Both of them are keeping, uh, keeping yeah, a hold of their bar. The meter. Firewall doesn't really keep one to spin it just for chill. Nice. I want to call that move Spinning Lariat. <laughs> That's a completely different move. I cannot remember the real name. But it's just the spin. Yep. All right. Uh, Firewall a little down on life, trying to push uh, some Optimus back to that corner. Uh, all jumps into the end of that reflector. Well, good block. Yeah, he's gonna and stand Urian's behind, build some more. It, yeah. I do not recall Urian's taunt buff. I have to imagine it's damage related. Oh, gets the oh, overhead and gets the overhead again. Or actually, I think those knees were just more cross up. Ow. Some Optimus really turning it on. Yo, he whiffs, but. Cryo wall is still in a pretty bad spot. Finds the throw eventually. Another back Throwing throw. Back to the mid uh, another back a throw. Third throw. Okay. Yo! I'm like going to pretend lightning. like that was an OS and the cryo Ooh. wall sick. Hits the. Uh, this done may be horrible. Oh, uh, only gets a two. There it is. Oki again on the back, to the back round house. Throw one touch situation here. Somehow managed to dodge that, uh, that EX headbutt. We're even possibly in chip range. Some Optimus trying to do some keep out, nice reestablish the pace, and he's... Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Wipes off the sweat, and he's still in this game. I was stressing. Yeah, boy. You and me both. Lord. We await your return, warrior. Necro still in the tournament. And they have a little bit of time to sort of breathe as we go into this next match. Yeah, if y'all didn't know, uh, we're playing on genuine hardware this weekend. Wish that y'all come see it. Uh, I'm sure we'll get you a glamour shot of Taft here before long. Okay. But yeah, going into the third game of the set here. Ooh, nice launch there. Oh. Area tackle to push it back towards mid screen. Nope, but we're back into the corner there. Ooh, and just a little late on the grab. 
why is knee drop so broken? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's despite despite everything, up. Cryo Wall has still found his way back to mid screen. Yeah. Oh, nice electricity there on the knees. I'm trying to chill out here. Some Optimus has a one touch into unblockable potentially. Oh, good block with Chariot Tackle. This is the punish. Oh, there's the anchor Danger. reflector. Doesn't block low there. Land overhead gets blocked. Ah, with punished. I don't know. I don't know how realistic it would have been for uh, Firewall to just like chip him into super for the chip damage. It's scary, man. Yeah. Some people are just insane guessers on the parry. Neutral throw. Bit of stun. Cryowall actually does a really good job. That was a out punish. Of okay. What? Did that really cross up? The uh, the moonsault, the the knee drop there. Yeah. 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 From that far? No, your end's broken, bro. Wake uh, up, headbutt. Oh. This is the reversal, but it doesn't matter. Good block there. Also, yeah, cryo wall on his last legs. Yes, keep blocking. No nice more bar on the side of Urien. If you build DX, we're in a potential one touch situation, but I think that cryo wall might have two opportunities. Backed all the way up the corner, no charge right now. Oh no. Oh, he's so lucky. That was oh. so dangerous. Urien didn't grab. That's it. Man. Urian dubs. We await your return, warrior. Got you. My man Charlemagne got called away there for a second. I'm going to hold it down with you folks for just a little bit. Yeah, sure. Actually, uh, we're sitting over uh, Pro Tag Gundams. All right. Get back in the losers finals here. We're gonna see Chris G versus some Optimus. Uh, according to the bracket, yeah. Chris G back on the kin this time around. Engage. This is one of the more like classic matchups, I would say, of Third Strike. Uh, not like the best characters in the game, but among the best. And, uh, you see this matchup quite frequently. A lot of the time, I would say that Ken's goal is just to rush Urian down before he gets bar, or at least get into a very advantageous state before that happens. Uh, looks like that's happening right now. You know, we're still mid-screen. It may be not like an overwhelmingly strong situation for Chris G, but Urian has to be feeling a little bit of pressure right now. Especially with Ken closing down on two bar. Nice trip guard. One of the fundamentals of third strike, no doubt. The pressure's heavy. No, no punish. Urian just goes for the simple throw. It makes sense. Get the corner. Ken sweep only like minus seven or something. Near impossible for Urian to deal with. Or on punish situation anyway. It blocks the overhead. Sweep. Oh, no. Some Optimus just couldn't take advantage of the couple situations he created. Luckily, he's going into this round with two bar, so he's he's kind of living good. But Chris G really committed to keeping this mid screen happening. Uh, we've seen some Optimus a couple of times commit to just like tackle super cancel. Neutral throw does get quick tech, so non block we're gonna set up on it. There it is. Does the medium reflector? Good blocks from Chris's box, and unfortunately, in a super jump into EX Tatsu. Yeah, the uh, the escape helicopter. I yeah. think some people call it a uh, more colorful term. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the some good defense harassment. from Sub Optimus. Yeah, but you can only do so much walking and blocking. Ken is getting a lot more bar making you block than you are blocking. I don't know how many of these are attempted to be down parries. Oh, I saw like a frame of stand in there. Maybe attempting to reset for the parry. Oh, Danger good grab on land though. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, oh doesn't get the, the combo. Axe, misses the blink. Danger. Break on that grab. Getting low on time. I don't think it's going to be a factor in how oh. this round plays out, though. There's just a little bit more life there. Oh, doesn't block that overhead. Yeah. Oh, didn't parry. Like I said, a lot of people consider the fireballs in this game pretty whack, but the Shoto the X fireballs have such a great place in the game. Believe it or not, just like we said in Marvel, this Chris G guy is uh, pretty good at fighting games. Fighting ready. Engage. All right, we're just building some meter here. <laughs> Chris G's just content to just crouch there, match a couple crouching uh, mediums. Oh, those overheads. I see the uh, willingness to press the sweep here. A lot of times when Yurian gets uh, frustrated with the spacing game, he will just try and dash in, get a whiff on it, but the sweeps can space him out. Chris G pushing all the way to the corner now. Has a super and a half. Good grab there. Versus Yurian's one EX. Yorian's kind of suffering here. Ooh, nice chariot tackle. Nice. Doesn't get anything behind throw. him, of course. Ooh. Ah, the classic. Yeah, I love that. The headbutt and the grab. Good the parry there from Chris. I want the corner. Oh, he's just sort of boxed him Some into death here. That's, that's a KO. Chris G looking kind of dominant in this loser's final so far. Some Optimus has to find out how to take the space game himself. Some Optimus finally with a bar this game. Feels yeah, like against ever. Ken's two now. Or well, back to Ken's one. Good back throw. Sorry, Ken's X fireball is as good as a super in so many situations. Whew. Weirdo stare down there for a sec. Confirm. Chris is so ready to pull the trigger on those. I like the back out. I like the back off. He wants to let Yuri hang himself here. Oh, Chris is working no, with the full health too. Strong. Oh, good parry. Yes, he's going to the EX just to stay safe. Wow. Overhead hit by the roundhouse. That is a button I've seen surprisingly little of from Chris G. I, I always consider uh, Kim's roundhouse one of his strongest features. You know, I don't remember. Can Yurian put out two Aegis Reflectors like at the same time in this game? Yes, oh, but don't quote almost me. Almost death with the overhead. And another unblocked overhead from some Optimus. He seems to be really stuck on like on crouching against Ken uh, when he's close to normal. Well, the short short is just as scary as the overhead. Yeah, that's fair. I think it's reasonable, especially in, in a last touch situation. A little coaching coming in for some Optimus. Let's see if it helps him adapt to anything. Are you ready? Go. I hope so. I would love to see as much third strike as we can tonight. I think Chris G has found his color for the night. I don't. I, he hasn't changed from that blue. Yeah. Ooh. When I think of this color, I think of Christian. Shout out Chinchilla if you're in the chat. Oh, jump over grab, puts a mid screen. I like throw. the chase into the crouch shore headbutt. There it is. Oh, unlockable. gets the unblockable. Hey, we're going to hit the combo this time. No, he misses Drops. the side swap. Uh, jumps into a back grab. And Chris now he's G back controlling in the space here in the corner. Switches out, overhead blocks. Ooh, yeah. EX headbutt and the grab there. Headbutt with throw. What a god. Awesome. Committed to the roundhouse, expecting to dash in. Oh, good block. Good block. There it is, the roundhouse. One touch. Such a bad situation. Oh, nice. Terry's on the fireball right, and the crouching forward. light for the win. That was that was awesome. Are you ready? Go. Stand fear or er, stand strong. Keep out. Trip guard again. Christy is so on point, man. Yeah, like I said, he's he's so ready to throw the triggers. He had he, he has the eye for those normals. Into the confirms. A good parry. Walk up grab there. Oh, nice parry. Oh, yo, light up recovery. Team Peter punish that with area tackle. Oh my gosh, sub optimus, no. One touch situation. Yeah. Let's take it to match point. Dash. Oh, misses the unblockable. Back throw. Oh, that's how he just gets 
crush there. I think he blocked the first hit standing and then crouched. Is, oh no. Is that what happened? Uh, yeah, match point here for Chris G, trying to make his way back to the, uh, the grand finals there, yeah. How often is fighting for his life? Oh, no. Good travel. Get a little overzealous on your offense, even with the reflector out. You might just get thrown. Oh, All right. good first parry. Doesn't complete it, unfortunately. You don't see Tried uppercuts and anti-airs all that much in this game, but it is hard to commit the four parries. Okay, gets the grab here. Doesn't go. Oh, doesn't have the meter for Aegis reflected. Never mind. The the taunt cancel for the frame trap. Yeah. Curious. I'm not sure how realistic that is, but that's the second time I've seen him do it tonight. Yeah, I haven't gotten on like a. Oh no. Stands up and gets crouched. One touch jab, situation yeah, with he, the bar out. He's in dire straits now. He might be just looking for the chip situation for the easy kill. Okay. Yep. EX uh, fireballs. And the normal is punished with EX fireball oh, there. Oh, that hurts. Christy punches his ticket in the grand finals. And we have Doc Martin making the walk up. I have to wonder. I mean, I'm I'm not going to pretend like I totally caught on to Chris G's fuzzy match timing there. But, like, some optimists had a read with the, with the crouch fierce and the, the taunt. Yeah. Unless... Maybe that just keeps him safer than letting it rock. I would imagine because uh, that that crouching heavy punch is two hits. Yeah. If that first hit doesn't hit, then you're just sort of just stuck there for a moment. That uh, that taunt does have a hitbox, so I guess it is yeah. more of that. Oh, we have the Yang now. On the grands, the Yang has hit the arena. Ooh, Harry good is the red target Harry combo. There. Yeah, you don't see Yang's target combo come out very much, but. It'll still happen over here. And Yang's again. health is healthy. He is, is a little bit lower health. Okay, all right, all right. And if I'm wrong again, Twitch chat, don't crucify me, please. Kodo puts out so much damage. If he has a, a lower health character here, that may may not work out well for him. But I think he expects that uh, Doc Mac has like a read on the Ken play. So he just wants to switch things up here. Yeah, we haven't seen Yang use any of his real signature traits yet. Like, we saw a target combo, but of course that got blown up. All right, we walked With the out. red fairy, yeah. Right. Gets the far strong instead of the close. Chris G walking himself back into that corner, but throws Makoto into the corner and an immediate dash out. Doc Mac is so good with his movement here. Ooh, All right, the Torque nice. Fierce, he's getting a lot of mileage out of that move. All right. Doc Mac may be uh, ready to take this entire grand final set here. I have to wonder. Maybe calling early, but. Maybe, maybe. I have to wonder if we're seeing the Yang again. That really didn't work out all that well. Oh, uh, no. Oh, it looks like we're going into uh, Chun-Li Chun territory now. Back to the old me, he said. <laughs> now. And immediately, it's, uh, immediately gets swept there. The car, car, the is heavy. Uh, gonna be big. Get that corner position. Ooh. Oh, he is absolutely smothering Chris G. Wants to put as much damage onto that Chun-Li as possible before she can build that meter to punish anything. Chris G manages the, uh, the back, the back forward, the back medium shift. Now he's playing just a little bit more sedately. The block. Oh, and never mind. Punish. The Chun Li did have the meter, so if he did too many things punishable, there was a chance for a super there. But uh, Doc Mac was just staying on his stuff. I really do like how Doc there. Mac is doing this time around. Okay, chases him down. <laughs> All right, just boxing him into the corner here. Maybe. Uh, oh, good nice carry, carry from Chris G to the carry super here. Thirty-five percent or so. It's uh, jumping back into the corner. I'm not so sure how much I agree with that. But a car of Fusa. A super? The yeah. The su no! Oh! Drops the combo. Was he late or was it just out of range? Ooh. The super jump cancel. No with punish. That was a real Hail Mary. Oh, runs into oh. the last hit. I can only assume that he wanted to parry that. Danger. These guys are insane. Yeah. I would have lost Chris my patience. G had 
seconds ago. Christy had a heart of stone to just sit there <laughs> on that charge. Shot. I did like Ayate. three dash forwards and got killed yeah. in that situation, <laughs> yeah. man. No shot. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter. And Chris G's just back to Ken here now. <laughs> now, Doc Mac, obviously, on the set oh. right here, or the, uh, the set game. Yeah, Doc Mac's looking very militant here. Now he has the kid box into a corner. He's just going to try to control as much of that space as possible. Christy on his third character in three games. I, I liked what uh, he was doing earlier, where he was just like hitting the early buttons, trying to stop the dash ends. Doc Mag has shown that to be like a, a core part of his game plan. <laughs> Ooh, <with punish. laughs> Let's go to Hayate. Chris didn't believe. Oh, those were some really, uh, really close to the ground axe kicks there. Doc Mac. Oh, oh no. getting dogged in that round. corner there. Christy puts oh, himself onto oh, the yeah. board here. I was just about to say, Doc Mac has uh, retained the information about Chris G's defensive habits from the last set, but didn't matter this time around. The person between you and me, I think Doc Mac may have been playing with them in that corner just a little. Yeah. Got a lot of games to play with anyway. <laughs> yeah, but do you really? Against a mind like Chris G, I don't know if you want to give him the chance to build up. You're so right. Next hit is probably pretty big, especially with Chris G's Oh back. my god, oh, this jumping normal is getting him punished in the super. No super just yet, but this does put him within a one touch range potentially. Ah, the axe kick gets broken there. Oh my gosh, Doc Mac is on it again. Oh, the car. He didn't believe misses. the rule of threes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris G takes his first uh, his first game here. Let's see how the, what the changeup looks like. So we're still just going straight with Makoto. I don't know that Doc Martin play uh, Doc Mac Doc plays another Martin. character. <laughs> Doc Martin, yeah, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't look, these look guys tired. are killing me, man. Yeah. <laughs> no whiff punish. Ooh, dash okay, good dash but, under you know, the we punish. Found the damage, and we're almost Chase back them the down. We're back, back into the, the corner, but throws them out of the corner? I love the, the normal into the dash back. Maybe trying to bait Chris out for something. Back into the corner again. Ooh. Technically, being in the corner against Makoto is a little bit less scary than having her be in the corner, just because she's able to set up the Karakusa into the kill a lot yeah, of the time. That is true. That is true. If you get Which Karakusa like, with her back to the corner, you're probably just taking half your life. Yeah, consider this. Being in the corner feels good. <laughs> yeah, There's something that. wrong here. <laughs> it's really bad. Ooh, and a dash into the corner. Try to jump out. Okay, back grab All to right. seal that round. And Doc Mac. Back on game point here. Are you ready? Go. Doc Mac vying to, to win it here. Ooh, good Commits carry. Commits the target combo. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't, doesn't carry that last hit. Ooh. A little bit out of range. The crouch hit was a little strange. Wasn't going to get the punish, so tried to mix up the timing. Ooh, that axe kick just barely takes him over the head. Jumps out of the car, car Kusa. Two bars. Any fireball oh, nice. toss? Ooh. I'm surprised he got Good the block punish. off that That's dash. big. That's huge. It's not going to run up on Makoto that much. Knows that any one parry in a Karakusa is the game. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Jumps the overhead. Chip. Oh, the parries! Oh, my God. And the DP. Yeah, no, 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 no. Calm that down. <laughs> Straight jump. Ooh, catches that dash in with the crouching medium in the super. The interception. These guys oh, got nice me leaned in. Not gonna lie, this is crazy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> this is so tense. Oh, uh, that's there Karakusa. It is. Won't be a super here. Oh man, I only took 30% for getting thrown in the corner. Oh, As opposed to losing. That looks that's like it. stun. And that is that's it. game. Doc Mac is your uh, your winner here for uh, third strike. Congratulations, Congratulations to the man. Doc Mac.
That was impressive. Great run from Chris G as well, taking yeah. second here uh, with not uh, some optimists, right? Taking yeah. third. Yeah, some optimists in third. That was a that was a great great yeah. games all around to everyone in the top eight. These guys were tight. Third strike's pretty cool if you didn't like pick that up over the course. It's of an top amazing eight. game. If you have any sort of interest in it, please find a way to pick it up. You can yes, grab it please. on. Uh, a lot of consoles now have it in their store. I'm, don't quote me on that because that may not still be the case. But you have emulator. You have other ways to uh, acquire the game. Uh, Fight Kate is still popular. Keep it up up boy, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, the 40th anniversary, not a bad way to get yourself introduced into the game. That's true. Um, if you want to play it locally, I'm sure find your locals. Some, but Somebody is bound to have like a CPS3 or some other very valid way to play the game. And of course, if you're in Atlanta, just find a, a plus two on block. Heck yeah. I guarantee you they'll have it posted up in the corner. Give us a shout at the uh, the Data FGC Twitter, of course, and then there should be a Discord link there. You yeah. can holler at people. Uh, you know, the ATL folks in the top eight obviously want to play third strike as much as they can. And I'm sure a lot of these other guys from really not too far away would be more than happy to play. Uh, but with that over, that's going to be the end of our tournaments for the night. So we'll go ahead and sign on out. Again, it's been your boy TPO Charlemagne over here with the tank. Um, blessed to have you guys uh, listen to us <laughs> rant over some of this amazing third strike play. But you all have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy. See you all in the morning.